So this video is on immunity and vaccination, and it's the third video in the human defense system. So what is vaccination? What's the idea behind it? Well, the idea behind it is that you're introducing foreign antigens. So by introducing foreign antigens, so if you're giving a baby a vaccine, you're going to introduce a foreign antigen. So it could be the measles antigen. So you're going to give them a weakened dose of the measles virus and you're going to stimulate B cells and T cells to become active in that baby. The B cells will produce the antibodies because they'll produce those plasma cells that produce the antibodies and they'll also produce those specific memory B cells with the long-term memory of how to fight that particular virus. But also the baby will produce memory T cells, which are really important, particularly the helper T memory cells. And it's the production of those memory B and memory T cells, which will give the baby or the person long term immunity. So vaccination is all about causing the immune system to react and to produce those memory cells. So if you're asked what is a vaccine, it's a non harmful or a weakened dose of a particular pathogen, or it could be just the antigen. And it's introduced into an organism to stimulate the immune system to respond. So how does vaccination work? Well, a vaccine contains a weakened version of a pathogen, or it could be just the antigen. And in vaccination, you're going to use that vaccine to introduce that pathogen with that foreign antigen. So once you do that, you stimulate B cells and T cells to become active specific B cells and T cells. They have to be specific to that antigen. So the B cells will eventually divide and produce those plasma cells and they produce the antibodies specific to the antigen and they'll also produce memory B cells. Memory T cells will also be produced because remember when those helper T cells recognize that antigen and become active, they also produce memory cells. So it's the production of those memory T cells and memory B cells that will give long term immunity. So vaccination is really all about causing the immune system to react and produce those memory cells. So the body or the organism has the memory on what to do should it ever encounter that specific antigen for real. So the vaccine has been administered and the specific helper T cell has become activated. It undergoes selection and will divide and produce more helper T cells, but it will also produce those memory T cells that will be able to recognize that antigen again in the future. But one of the key roles, remember, of the helper T cells is that they stimulate the B cells and they help them become fully activated. So the B cell is activated and remember it's the B cell that has recognized the antigen that's been introduced in the vaccine. It is now fully activated and it undergoes division to produce those plasma cells. Plasma cells will produce lots of that specific antibody and the memory B cells will also be produced and they will remember how to produce those plasma cells that produce that specific antibody should they need to in the future. So it's the memory B cells and the memory T cells that are essential to long term immunity. Anytime antibodies are produced, it's induced immunity, the ability to resist disease by the production of antibodies. So all of this vaccination is all part of induced immunity. So immunity can be classed as active or passive, and the hint is in the word. So active immunity means that your immune system is actively doing something. It's producing antibodies and it's producing memory B cells and memory T cells. Passive immunity, look at the picture, your immune system is not doing really anything. The antibodies are made by another organism and they're introduced into your body. So that means that no memory cells, no memory B cells and no memory T cells are made. So active immunity can be natural or artificial. Natural active immunity means that your body is induced or made to make those antibodies because you've caught the flu or some pathogen has entered your body. And artificial means that it has happened artificially. You've been made to make those antibodies artificially because you've been vaccinated maybe. Passive immunity can also be natural or artificial. And remember, in passive immunity, no antibodies are made. They're introduced. They were made by another organism. This can happen naturally. Antibodies pass from mother to baby in breast milk or through the placenta while the baby is still in the uterus. And artificially, this can happen when antibodies are in administered, for example, in a tetanus injection. Passive immunity is short-lived immunity. 
But at the end of this, make sure you can define induced immunity, that you're able to discuss what vaccines are and how they give you long term immunity and that you can understand that it's the memory B and memory T cells that are essential to long term immunity. Can you distinguish between active and passive immunity? Can you discuss natural and artificial active immunity and give examples? And can you discuss natural and artificial passive immunity and give examples? So that's the end of the human defense system. So three videos and you have your textbook and you've got all of those past papers. So you know that I've gone into extra detail just to help you understand it. So the key is to do the questions.